So now that we have our boxes built, we're going to lay them in a 2x4 grid so that we can tape these together. And it's very important that you don't mess up the taping portion, otherwise um, it won't fold the proper way. So I put in a diagram to help you with the taping of it. First thing that you're going to do is add a piece of tape, like so. Stick it down really well. And then you're going to take this piece right here and you're going to line it up really well before you tape it. And then you're going to put the tape down and smoosh it, like so. So now you've got a piece like so. You can see where the tape is that fits right there. Now what you need to do is make the other part of the hinge. So what you're going to do is flip this box up on top of the other one and you're going to tape this here. So now it's been flipped the other way and we're going to line her up carefully. The more careful you are, the, yeah, the more careful you are about lining it up, the better off you will be. So we're just going to tape that on there and we're going to close it back up to look like it did in the beginning. Okay, so when we open it up, we've got the hinge, and when we close it, okay, it's going to look like that. We're going to repeat that exact same step for the other end. We're going to take this piece, and we're going to put a piece of tape on it. We're going to line this box up really carefully, and we're going to lay the tape down. We are now going to open up to get the hinge for the other side. We're going to line it up really well. I might want to just flip it upside down to help myself. Okay, we're going to line it up really well. And we're going to put the tape on there. And then we're going to bring it back to its original spot and put it down like that. Now what we're going to do is do this, basically the same thing on the sides. So we're going to take this one. We are going to I'm going to do it from the top and then we'll lay it the way it needs to go. It's easier to go from the top. I'm going to put the piece on here. We're going to line this up really well and put it down. And then we're going to open up that hinge. Okay, and I'm just going to flip it over. So you, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a piece of tape. The tape's, there's the original top. Or, sorry. This isn't the original top. The original top is the inside of these two pieces. Okay, we're going to lay it down. It's lined up. So we're just going to open up that hinge again. And there we go. So there's the original. And we're going to do it for this piece here. Alright, so we're going to put this piece of tape on. We're going to line the boxes up really well. Smoosh that down. And we're going to open up the hinge. I want to be able to work on it easier, so I'm going to flip it upside down. There we go. And then I make sure to close that hinge back up. All right, so now, right now I've got the four pieces of tape on the top, but that's not how we want the tape. We actually want these two to be on the outside edges. So you can see there's the little Pac-Man faces right there. All right, so now what we want to do is attach this to here and to here. So we need to flip the outside one so that tape is on the bottom. Okay, so now what we're going to do is hinge from here to here. So again, you're going to put your tape down, oops, line it up really well, nice and straight, and then smoosh that down. And then we are going to take this is where it gets fun, okay? You have to uh, flip it whichever way you want to be able to get the other side here done. It sounds really complicated, but it really isn't. And then we'll close that back up. We're going to do the same thing for this piece. The first time I did this, I watched the video quite a few times. Um, to make sure that I did it properly and then what I did was I diagrammed it out for myself which is the diagram I've given you just to make it a little bit easier so again I'm going to flip it up and then do this piece right here making sure to line it up really well because the better you line it up here the better off you are going to be alright and now all I have to do is repeat the exact same thing 
for this side. Okay, so I'm going to oops, stick that in there. Put a piece of tape, line it up, and squish. And I'm going to do these both at the same time this time, just because uh, I don't want to have to keep flipping, but it doesn't matter. Okay, and then I'm going to flip it this way. Okay, and I can see that tape's going to go right here, so I'm just going to turn it around so we can see this a bit better. Okay, there's a piece right there. Smoosh. And then a piece right here. And smoosh. Now what you can go ahead and do is, uh, on my very first one of these I made, I added some extra tape just for extra support. But now I can see I can open it, flip it, open it, flip it, open it, and it'll just keep going like a beautiful little magic photo box. So now all I'm going to do is go ahead and add my photos after I strengthen this up with a little bit more tape just for security's sake, and I'll be done. So now I'd like to share with you the completed project. So there's the one main image. Let's open it up. And there's the other two little girls. Another one. Actually, that's the same girl. All three of them. And then I'm back to my main image. Now when you do this, you don't want to make the same mistake I did. When I did it, I wanted each girl to have their own panel. So I put the one girl there, and then a big one of her, and then opened up to a big one of her. And then when I was done, I went and filled up the rest of the panels with my leftover big pictures. But what I found was that if I start on this page and then I scroll around, there's a group picture, but then there's a same girl again. So I've kind of made it unfair. Uh, what I would have liked to have done and what I'll do on my next one is start here, set up my main images all around because this one is the beginning. This one you never see when you fold it. You never see this one when you fold it. And you never see this one when you fold it. So I would go ahead and set up my main pictures first. And then I take my leftover ones and I would then fill up the insides. And then that way I know that I can see all of them at once without having to open up the project. And another neat little feature, I've got these three stripped panels here. This is the one that opens up like this. When I get back to the beginning, they end up being the ones on top. And that was a total fluke, um, but I love it. So I would definitely do something like that again. So that was just the main, let me just go back to there again. There we go. Okay, so whatever is in the top here will show up in the top when it's back to its starting position. Okay, the two facing that way and these two facing this way. So it ends up being really, really cute. So I hope you like it. And after you've made a few of these, then you'll know where the time has gone.